It's been a little bit of a slow day for me here on the coast. Haven't managed to hook up with my little voyage out in the tinny earlier today. So I'm gonna try a little bit of spinning on the beach with the old faithful. See how we go, bit of catch and release fun on this dandy 18 degree day, beer barrel beach on the east coast of Tasmania. Let's get into it. Aiming to get out here. It's the only vantage point that I can get here at low tide. Let's see if I can get out there. It'd be nice to just hook up to something on the old faithful silver wobbler. Righto. At least we've got some deeper water. It's gonna be the best spot, if any. I've got about half an hour before the tide comes in. And I can't get back over to shore. Few obstacles probably gonna donate this but let's get into it Fish. Fish on the first cast. Very good. That's what we're after. Let's keep that tip high. See if we can bring him in. Without getting snagged up. What do we got? Oh, it's a nice looking salmon. It's a big boy. Yeah, head back out to that deeper water, buddy. Ah, he spat it. Oh, it's so sketchy! <laughs> oh, one cast and one salmon. Oh, that wasn't even that far out, but I'm surprised I hooked up there. Let's see if I can actually land one of these guys, because that was great fun. It's just, um, I think next time what I've got to do is just read it a little bit more with the swell coming in, so I can just bring him up onto the kelp. I've got to keep his head up as well. That's another one. That's another one. Ooh, he's got a bit more fight. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you going? All right. Let's play it a little bit differently this time. He's going. He's having a jump. He's having a jump. Not over there, mate. Not over there. Last thing we want him to do is get stuck in some of this kelp. Might have to drag him at this point. And that right there is a very beautiful Australian salmon. On the good old faithful silver spoon. They just love it. <laughs> what a beautiful scenario and setting that we are in. Look at this coastline. How incredible. It's this bloke's lucky day because he's going to um he's gonna be swimming free. We'll see if we can get another one. But I've got plenty of fish in the fridge, so. 
he's going home. He'd be size, but he's going home. Let's give him a little release. And we will see you next time. How bloody awesome is that? Seriously? Oh, I've forgotten how much fun rock fishing is. <laughs> Are there any other rock fishermen watching this video? Let me know in the comments below what you usually use when you're in this kind of environment. I'm also sorry if the wind's up and you can't hear me too well, but that's bloody good fun. Let's see if we can get one more. Uh, that's another one. Here we go. Good stuff. You beauty. Whoopee. <laughs> Alrighty, this time I'm gonna try. Keep him hooked. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh, he's a he's much bigger. Swim back out, buddy. Swim back out. He's a bit bigger than the previous ones, so let's see how we tackle this. Just gotta. Take it nice and slow. Keep the tension on. Now on this next sweep, we'll try and bring him up. There we go. <laughs> How good is that? Good old silver wobbler. He can cast a mile and he can catch a million. That's the way. This is great fishing. On the single hook too. I can just release them without barely any damage. But it is just so much fun. How fun is that? That's just epic. These guys are running thick, straight off the rocks. Just takes a little bit of rock hopping to get to your location. So just be careful, be on the ball when you come out to these kind of conditions. I have gotten very lucky because, hold on, we'll give this guy a release. He is okay, he's coming off. I've gotten so lucky. I only brought one wobbler with me and a beer and the amount of entertainment that that has given me is just phenomenal. <laughs> that is some fantastic fun on light gear. A 1.9 meter Berkeley drop shot combination with a little fluger. This is actually my old man's rod. Um, and a 20 gram spinner, 20 gram silver wobbler. I can't believe how much fun that still is. Like I haven't done it in so many years and to just cast off the rocks and land fish like that. It's, uh, you know, it, it's kind of opened me back up to land-based fishing. It is so much fun and it's such a challenge. Alrighty. Before I have to battle the tide and the rock pools to get back in, I'm getting a bit thirsty, so I'm going to call it there. I can't believe how much fun that was. So good. Just catching salmon on a 1.9 meter rod, light gear, 12 pound braid and leader, 5.4 kilo. That was fun. Just magic. Four o'clock in the afternoon, pulled in a couple of salmon, lost one. What more can you ask for? Thanks for hanging out with me and watching this little video of Tazcast. Something a little bit more raw, just on the GoPro, in comparison to the normal videos that are produced a little bit heavier. If you like these kind of videos where you're hanging out with me, just let me know in the comments and I might do some more. So, subscribe to the channel. Let's get fishy and I'll see you later. Wallaby dick.